Good morning, everyone. Sorry, if got, we are jumping back into our Wheel of Struggle run of the Game Boy Advance version of Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, if you want to know more about what Wheel of Struggle is, check the links in the description or watch the first video. Seriously, we're an hour and a half into the game already. Watch the first video first. Makes sense. Uh, let's go ahead and get start, get back into things. <clears throat> Oh, I will say, I did add... I did add two minutes uh, at the beginning of the last recording, I forgot to start my timer. So I did add, go ahead and add two minutes to account for that. <laughs> We did get a game over on this world last time. <clears throat> so I'm hoping that things go better. But this is a water level in Sonic, so I'm not expecting it to go super great either. It's also just a bad version of a game that's already not the best designed. So... There is, you're probably noticing some pretty significant lag. Uh, there's a lot of input delay that you're probably not seeing. gonna... Yep. I knew that that was happening as soon as it started. <laughs> so we currently have one Chaos Emerald, which is... means we're not getting the, the true ending, but honestly, I'm not super concerned with that, as long as we can get a few. Uh, the rules for the competition are... Who can get the farthest within five hours playing the game, with tiebreakers going to Chaos Emeralds. So, basically it's gonna be Everyone who, or the person who gets first is going to be whoever gets through the game within five hours. Oh my god. Um, with, then ties go to Chaos Emeralds. And then whoever gets it first. If there are multiple people who get that far, or who complete the game with all the emeralds, for example. I'm probably dead here. Nope. <laughs> Luckily, the music and the actual graphics and the thing don't all line up because. Uh, Game Boy Advance. Flip the switch. And... Okay, we're up to the spear part.
it's really, really hard to get momentum in this section while you're underwater. <laughs> So I believe this one we can wait until it goes over the crest. Then we want to jump to avoid the fireballs. We'll take a complete miss over getting hit. <laughs> I don't need to kill every enemy. Make sure I don't cross the goal if it's right here because I am very oh you can't leave that's cruel that's cruel That's cruel. Uh, this level has an obscene amount of rings, which is probably just going to make me even more mad when I still don't qualify to get the emerald. That's right. I remember that guy now. <laughs> Thank you. 
Invincibility is good. Except for the lag. Yep, I knew it was coming. <laughs> and we're back down to six. Because this game hates me! And you can't actually roll under those. Even though it seems like you should be able to. So, part of the problem that we are running into here isn't just the lag, it's the inconsistent lag. Um, it's the fact that a lot of times there's spots where it'll speed up suddenly and then we have this weird burst of speed. Okay, let's... You can see, like, the platforms are, like, staggering slightly as we move. Okay, so we need to go... There we go. I feel like this is at least going better than last time, but I also feel like that's a low bar. So, we'll, uh, we'll take that as it is. I think this one is the maze? Yes. Which, I mean, it is Labyrinth Zone, it makes sense. Let's get a bubble. Okay, this gets us back above water. As long as we've got a ring, we're okay.
Okay. I was just going to say, I don't even see the numbers coming up, so I'm not sure what's going on there. And we are all the way back at the beginning. I messed that up. I mean, I guess at least we're not losing lives, but we are losing time, which, given how long this level is taking, I'm kind of hoping we're not going to, like, there's a decent chance that I, that time is actually a, a factor in the future here. I can't believe I dodged that. I hate everything. Okay, this is going to be the invincibility and 
the last time I've gone to the left, and I think what we need to do is just jump to the right with, while we've still got invincibility. One invincibility into another. We'll take it. I remember that save point, so we're getting closer to where we were. Just to kind of mention how the physics in this game work, um, I wasn't holding a directional button for most of that last part. Um, like, I started moving left, and then just pushing the jump button, even pushing the other direction, I was still sliding left, even after I got- especially after I got out of the water. Um, without having to push anything. So that's kind of the, the big problem I have as far as the controls go. Um, waterfall or water slide. There's that. I assume we want to get over as far to the right as we can. There's probably going to be a switch at the top of this, and then we're going to have to come all the way back down. Because there was something all the way down to the left that looked like it was openable by a switch. Maybe not. No, I don't like this. No, 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 no. I think we're in trouble, just to be clear. A couple of these missed jumps mean that we're now going to run out of time, unless the top is right here. But I don't think it's going to be. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I'm not sure. I might have hit the spear. Honestly, in that particular situation, I think hitting the spear would make me feel better.
Uh, we're currently sitting at no rings on my last life, which makes me super nervous. Heading into the section where there were like the fireballs and stuff. And these stupid little guys jumping at you. Well, that gives me a little protection at least. I'm definitely starting to get this one down. It's almost like I've done it several times. I still don't understand that part. Like, you don't really have control of your character at that point. Unless I'm confused. You can slide slightly up and down, which I tried to slide down and I get caught on the side and hit the spikes. Or I could slide up and hit the spikes. What? <laughs> hmm. Well, that feels like a soft lock to me. Um.
What did I hit? Okay, I missed all the rings. Finally, okay. The worst part is, in that brief moment, I was feeling like I was back to where I had died, and then I realized that I'm still on the first, or back on the first stage, and that was just the first checkpoint. These levels are just so freaking long. People were, people were trying to make the argument in the the Wheel of Struggle Discord that uh, Sonic One is a good game, despite this being a bad game. And my argument is the level, de unless the level design is uh, significantly different in these versions. The level design in these game in this game is still garbage. And I am perfectly willing to stick by that statement. There's definitely a pretty good amount of you know, it is a classic. I understand its place in the hierarchy of games. I don't think Sonic as a series is bad. Like Sonic 2 is a really good game. But Sonic 1, <laughs> they were still working on hitting their stride, and uh, this version of it is terrible, but I don't think the original game, like, levels should not be this long, and I should be able to tell where I'm going. There should be indicators to help me figure out where to go that are a little bit more clear than the signposting in this game. I've used the word signposting a lot lately. Uh, clearly this is the, uh, the gaming theory, uh... The game theory stuff that I am most interested in right now is, uh, games need to have good signposting. Or games should have good signposting. Like, that's one of the best things about, like,
like in a uh, in a Mario game, you know exactly where you're going because the most even, er, the levels are pretty much left to right, and the levels that aren't left to right, you can still get that feeling of where you go. You follow the trail. A lot of Sonic levels are designed like that as well. I just feel like a lot of the ones in this game. It's a little bit more open and maze-like, and I realize this is Labyrinth Zone. But, quite frankly, I play Labyrinth games for fun, and I'm not having fun trying to figure out these mazes because it's also covered in terrible water physics, uh, drowning, risks. Low jump to avoid the spikes. 60, 70. I'm gonna skip the other 10 because we're over. Oh, you have to hit the switch. Okay. That's right. I just had this brief moment as that thing came on the screen as I remembered why I've never gotten through this level with rings intact. Because those two are obnoxious at best and... Like, I think it's technically possible to jump over all four of their attacks, but I'm not sure if it is while maintaining your breath. And I'm... It's definitely time-consuming to do so. No, 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 no.
I once again got very excited for a moment before I realized that I had not made any progress, and I'm just back where I was. Zoom. Oh my god. The weird sliding in this. Again, I don't know whether that's just how Sonic moves because I'm not super familiar with Sonic games or if that's something that the momentum is just weird because of the fact that this hack isn't, or not hack, port. I'm used to saying hack recently. That's right, we want to go left here. We want to not hit that spring. There we go. And I think I want to make sure I get the air more than I want to preserve my invincibility going forward. I got really lucky right there.
I really hope by some miracle, uh, this ends up being, like, the worst of the levels for me. Because I'm really not sure I can take another two and a half hours of this. <laughs> What? I'm very confused right now. <laughs> it keeps taking off without me. That was... Still don't understand that part. And it's still the reason I, in this level, that I can't get my 50 rings to the end. Like, the primary reason. There's other spots. It's not like it's the only spot I've ever gotten hit. But it's the spot that I have literally con gotten hit consistently every time. And it's the spot where I have the most rings to lose. Because once I get hit once, I no longer care, because it's not possible to get the 50 for the most part. This is going to be right into the... Let's get our air bubble.
Now it's just mocking me. This should be the fireball. That's another example right there of I wasn't even touching the right button at that point. The game just decided that since I was spinning earlier, I'm apparently just going right forever. forgot about that guy. Okay, I actually got through one of the enemies that always kills me. How did that hit me? I was jumping! Oh my god, I finally did it. I avoided its projectiles, I got all the way through. And somehow it still hit me because the hitboxes in this are so janky. I was even spin jumping. It shouldn't have been able to hit me at that point. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We don't need... We don't need to get the emerald, we just need to continue. If we beat the game, we're still gonna have okay standings. 
And there's probably other people who are going to beat the game with no emeralds, if they beat it at all. So, if we can just beat the game, standings should be okay. That's all we need to do. We'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> I'm not going crazy. You can't prove anything. saw it, but I couldn't react. I was mashing down so that as soon as I hit the ground, I would potentially be able to hit it, but was not on the ground, was falling, and was not in the spin jump state. Okay. Middle one is the slow one. I was literally just gonna say, so I need to be careful of that third one. I think I fell on that last time, so let's... How did I get hit? I have been perfectly fine jumping on those guys every time. I feel like there's something in the in the like the way that the jumping on enemies in this game or something with the spin jump works that I'm not understanding and that's totally possible that it's me um like it might just be a me thing I have been very upfront that I am not a sonic person I don't know the game very well We'll wait for the bubble here. Great. We're back all the way at the bottom.
Please no. Please no. Not again. Not like this. <laughs> Not like this. Back to the save point. No, 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 no! Not again! <laughs> Please, no! This is so stupid. so mad right now. We were doing really well, got all the way to the last checkpoint without getting hit, or without dying rather. I'm currently terrified of every single one of these enemies. This section has no rings in it, so we went from being relatively in a safe position to now not being in a safe position. I was already in motion, I couldn't roll back there. Okay. Probably dead now because I missed that jump.
I was just going to say, I'm... It doesn't matter. Back to the beginning we go. Again. Okay. We're going to give it one more go. For some reason. So... If I can't get past this after this many attempts, I'm genuinely not sure that I'm going to continue. Like, I don't feel like that's a problem. This is, like, I don't want to, I have better things to do with my time. Than sit here and bash my head against the wall that is Labyrinth Zone. Uh, if I'm not going to be able to get past it. It's a bad copy of a game that I'm not good at. I know that a bunch of other people did fine at it, and that's... I'm very happy for them. <laughs> there are also a lot of people in this world that have played a lot more Sonic than me, and I have never... Like, even the regular versions of Sonic are not my jam. And this one controls really badly compared to, you know, good games. Um, <laughs> which I understand is the point. But again, something, something, fun, time. Okay. Don't go off to the right because that's where the stupid spring is. I realized it a second too late and it didn't let me react. Oh, okay. I will say, going back to games that actually have responsive controls after this feels great. Um, I've been playing, uh playing other games in between, and, uh... Oh, no. Okay. 
I don't think I've actually missed that jump since the first... Since my very first attempt. Make sure we don't get squished. Make sure we take out the drill, guys. Hit the button. Where did you come from? Oh god! Why am I wiggling as I fall? Oh god. Okay. Act one. Low hop to avoid the spikes. Nice. Okay. Keep going. We want to try and get... If we kill all of the little spiky guys before our invincibility runs out, we might be able to preserve... Uh. Hey, we've got all of the rings preserved here. And... There we go. Extra life for the first time. Not sure how I didn't get hit there, but we'll take it. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can get another emerald. I'm not expecting to, but we'll try. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah. By the time I realized I was free falling, I was it was too late. But on a good note, uh, we are at four lives for the first time. Jump over the first two. Make sure I don't fall down no pit. Yeah, the those are supposed to move in and out rhythmically. They definitely do not because the speed up and slow down on this is terrible. Okay. Let's see, this is the hit the switch. No, this is uh, the spikes with the invincibility. Oh no. Okay, okay, we're okay. Maybe we're okay? Yes, we're okay. Okay, this is the blocks. That was almost really bad, and I probably shouldn't have done it. Uh, however, <laughs> it is done now. Let's see if we get screwed over on this stupid water level again. That 
that was really lucky. Pretty sure I just take a death again here. There's not like a side path here or something, is there? I don't have rings for this section again. was really close to me just instantly dying there. Made it above the surface before the water rose. Get the shield so I have a snowball's chance in health. Try to stay ahead of the water. As long as I can. To hold off on the drowning thing. Never mind. rushed it. The problem is I should be taking this section slow to be able to get a good handle on it and you kind of have to because the way the momentum screws with you. But I also uh, you also drowned if you make any small delays or mistakes <laughs> if you let the water get ahead of you. So it's this balance of it forces you to rush, but also you can't rush.
I'm just gonna focus on trying. No, 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 no. I was just gonna say I'm not getting, I'm not making mistakes. And then I got hit. Oh. So, I am perfectly willing to grind away at a game if it's something that I'm enjoying. Um, or even if I'm, if I'm getting close to the end and I want to see it through. Both of those things make sense to me. Sitting here and throwing my head against the same stage over and over again when I'm not making any more progress. Literally, it is that same section that I've run into every single time. I don't have a good solution. I've tried different things. Not, or the opening section screwing me over on the not being able to get to the floating platform. And it means I can't take my rings with me. Um, I have gotten to that section with rings before, but it was before I realized what was going on. And I think I still ended up grounding because it's still a fairly hard section and it requires a lot of precision, which you don't have because the controls are super wonky and there's lots of lag underwater. Uh, I understand that's the point. Uh, I'm a little disappointed to only turn in half a performance for uh, you know the first time, first outing on the Wheel of Struggle, but. I also have better things to do with my time. Um, you know what? If I feel like it, maybe I'll come back, but I'm, I'm not going to hold my breath. So hopefully you're enjoying. Uh, if you are enjoying this sort of content, please let me know. Uh, leave a like, leave a subscribe. There's going to be at least 20 more of these. Um, culminating in uh, season two, or I'm, I've uh, already challenged uh one of the other competitors to a race for their next racing season which are like a sub season between uh, like a section between seasons so that's going to be coming up you know in in like 20 weeks um but i digress uh this game is terrible uh this version of this game uh i'm not familiar enough with the original to say for sure but if the level design is the same i think that's pretty bad too and uh, I'm willing to stick to that. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. Check out the other... Um, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. I'll catch you next time.